Distraught Meghan Markle pleads with her troubled father to walk her down the aisle after he pulls out of the royal wedding, as Harry blames himself. Meghan Markle pleaded with her father to walk her down the aisle after he apparently pulled out of Saturday's wedding because of the faked photographs row. Friends said the bride-to-be was distraught after troubled Thomas Markle, 73, said he wanted to save her further embarrassment, following reports that he colluded with a paparazzi photographer to stage a series of pictures in the run-up to the wedding. A friend of Miss Markle, 36, and her fiancé, Prince Harry, told the Mail that she was standing by her father and pleaded for understanding, saying he was not in a good place. The friend said, this is not what she wants. She obviously wants her dad there. And the idea of contemplating him not being there now is not something that she wants to have to do. She and Prince Harry are begging for people to give him some space. They have been saying this for weeks, while trying to offer him support and help. He is clearly feeling under immense pressure. The concern for him is real and genuine. He is a proud man who wants to be a father and not be taken care of but it's quite difficult. Everyone needs to pause and think what this is doing to the man, and, more importantly, to him. It is a really worrying, scary situation. The couple have been doing everything they can to help him. Harry, 33, is said to be blaming himself. The French said, he is devastated. He feels like this is another thing in the wake of him. The problems he causes. He feels that anyone who gets associated with his life, this is the price they have to pay. He wants to protect her and this is really difficult for him to swallow. The couple issued an unprecedented official statement through Kensington Palace in the wake of the crisis. A spokesman said, This is a deeply personal moment for Ms. Markle in the days before her wedding. She and Prince Harry ask again for understanding and respect to be extended to Mr. Markle in this difficult situation. U.S. gossip website TMZ claimed to have spoken on the record to Miss Markle's father, who confirmed he had worked with the freelance photographer to set up images of him being measured for his wedding suit and searching online for articles about his daughter. He said he did it to rehabilitate his image but had been left looking stupid and hammy dash and would not be traveling to the UK to give her away in order to spare her further embarrassment. Kensington Palace was clearly broadsided by the claims as aides had insisted on Sunday that Mr. Markle would be by his daughter's side at Windsor Castle this weekend. TMZ further claimed that Mr. Markle, a former award-winning Hollywood lighting director who lives a reclusive life in Mexico and has yet to meet his future son-in-law, confirmed he had been offered money by U.S.-based freelance photographer Jeff Rayner. But he insisted the deal was not principally about money. Instead, he wanted to rehabilitate his image after pictures had been published of him looking overweight and disheveled. The website wrote, he says since his daughter started dating Prince Harry he's been offered anywhere between $50,000 and $100,000 for interviews and he's turned all of them down. Thomas says the paparazzi agency approached him, offered him money, though nowhere near the reported $100,000, and he figured there was no harm in it and it would help recast his image. He admits the pics look stupid and hammy. He says he was just going along with the paparazzi agency, which he now deeply regrets. The website continued. Meghan's father will not be walking her down the aisle on Saturday. He isn't going to the wedding at all because of the fallout over selling photos of himself. Mr. Markle also told the website that he had suffered a heart attack six days ago but checked himself out of the hospital so he could attend the wedding. There was no independent confirmation that Mr. Markle had been ill, however. Indeed, last week he was seen leaving his home in the beachside community of Rosarito, Mexico, and driving to San Diego, just over the U.S. border. According to reports, he stopped for a few hours sleep and then carried on to L.A. where he was photographed putting a pot of flowers on the doorstep of his ex-wife, Doria Ragland, Miss Markle's mother. To add to the confusion, Mr. Markle's daughter, Meghan's estranged half-sister Samantha, claimed that she was the culprit behind the humiliating photograph debacle. In a bizarre intervention, Samantha said she had advised her father to cooperate with the photographer to show himself, and, strangely, the royal family, in a positive light. She also insisted his motive hadn't been money. One source told the Mail that Mr. Markle was very unwell, adding, he is under significant stress. There is genuine concern about his safety. His health and safety are paramount. To Meghan, he is under a huge amount of pressure. If Miss Markle's father is not at the wedding, it is believed Miss Ragland will walk her down the aisle. So if poor Mr. Markle isn't going to give Meghan away, who will? There will be nothing but sympathy for Thomas Markle today. Certainly that will be the main emotion as the shock of his reported decision to pull out of the royal wedding and not give his daughter away at Windsor on Saturday is absorbed. Ever since Meghan's relationship with Prince Harry first emerged to near universal delight, her father has conducted himself with a quiet dignity, unfamiliar with the relentless spotlight of publicity. He has been content to largely remain in the background. Other members of his family, his son and daughter by his first marriage for example, have seized the opportunity to speak of their younger half-sibling, often thoughtlessly and sometimes with cruelty. Tom Markle did none of these things. But then, as the finishing line at St. George's Chapel where he was due to walk Meghan up the aisle was visible, he chose to enter into a reckless arrangement that appears to have had shattering consequences.
At the weekend, it was reported that he had staged paparazzi photographs in exchange for money, though that was not his principal motive. He had, naively it must be said, hoped that choreographed pictures might rebalance the image the world had of him as some sort of bumbling semi-recluse. Instead the outcome has been one of humiliation for him. So it must have been with an unbearably heavy heart that he made his sudden and totally unexpected announcement. He is reported to have said that he cannot embarrass the royal family or his beloved daughter on her wedding day and that the solution is to stay away. But his decision to do so will strike a chord with people everywhere. Weddings are so often fraught affairs, even royal ones. Days before she married Prince Charles, Lady Diana Spencer wanted to back out only to be told by her sisters that it was too late because her face was already on the souvenir tea towels. Even so, Mr. Markle's absence will cast an unfortunate and inevitably regrettable pall over this weekend's ceremony. Some will doubtless say that the sad outcome is of his own making, but that would gratuitously misunderstand the intentions of a basically honorable man. In fact, as tragic as it is for Meghan to be robbed of the reassuring presence of her father on Saturday, the overriding feeling is sorrow for the man himself. For here is a man who suddenly found himself thrust into an alien world, an award-winning former Hollywood lighting director, but out of his depth when it came to handling publicity. He is not the first person to be seduced into a cozy arrangement with unscrupulous photographers. It is a well-practiced gimmick among celebrities to have apparently spontaneous pictures taken in which they have conspired, and then shared the proceeds of the deception. Quite why Mr. Markle decided to enter into such an arrangement is impossible to know. On TV yesterday his elder daughter Samantha, when not lamenting her own absence from the wedding, she hasn't been invited, was suggesting that she had put her father up to it, to paint him in a positive light. A noble enough sentiment, but in reality a doomed exercise that has left her father looking foolish, hurt and no longer participating on Saturday. But that brings us to another vexed question. Who on earth is going to give Meghan away? From the moment Prince Harry acknowledged that he was in a relationship with Tom Markle's beautiful daughter, the world has tuned in. Her mixed race background, her struggle to make it as an actress and her championing of the kind of causes Harry's late mother pioneered all caught our attention. And with that, the focus inevitably fell on her family. A broken home and the striving of her parents to give her the best chance in life were compelling aspects of her story. Maybe Mr. Markle, living off-grid in a rundown neighborhood of a Mexican border town, felt he could manage expectations by living low. The demeaning contribution of his son Thomas Jr. cannot have helped. In a letter to Prince Harry just a few weeks ago, he described his sister as a jaded, shallow, conceited woman who would make a joke of the royal family. Yet with breathtaking nonchalance he followed that up a couple of days ago by writing that it was not too late for him and other family members to receive an invitation to the wedding. Sitting in his small flat on the outskirts of Tijuana, Tom Markle Sr. cannot have failed to have taken this all on board. Tomorrow night he should have been settling into a room at Windsor Castle. A valet would have unpacked his bag, laundered his clothes and drawn his bath. He would have taken tea with the Queen and met his daughter's future father-in-law Prince Charles. Instead, on the day he would have had the eyes of the world on him walking as proud as can be to give his daughter's hand in marriage in the majesty of St. George's Chapel, he will be 5,000 miles away. Unless he has a change of heart, nothing would please Harry, the royal family or Meghan more than for him to be there. The world would like it too.